clarify that um, Mr. Day did begin by saying that he came to our property on April 16th. No, it was August, I'm sorry. It was, it was August 16th, and he came to our property and left a business card. Four. And I did immediately, the following morning when I returned home from um, work, that's when I had found the business card and sticking out of an Amazon Prime box, and it had said, trash and chicken complaint, please call. I did call up the following morning as soon as I got the chance. I had the pleasure of speaking with Miss um, McCall and she and I asked her what the issues were. She'd let me know that Richard Day isn't uh, available until Thursday. So she let me know that we have unpermitted chickens. At that point, I was very apologetic and I said, I'm very sorry, I didn't even realize that I needed a permit. And she said, well, it's really common. People don't tend to know that they need a permit for these things. Um, and I asked her how we go about getting one. She was kind enough to let me know and told me that she will send me an email um, with the regulations and the application, and which she did. She then um, went on, then I asked her about the trash issue. I said, what's going on with the trash? And she said, well, Mr. Day did visit your property and he found some trash along the side of your property. At that point, I did let her know that we do have a kitchen remodel going on. So there has been some overflow of trash and our, co our um, construction guy didn't show up and there's been delays and whatnot. And she was very understanding about that and I let her know that we're actively working on that problem also. Um, and we, we left the conversation at that. She did ask me if I've experienced some rodents. And I said, I um, not necessarily. I do have. I have seen the possums and the bunnies like we usually do. And uh, then she asked me about hawks. And I said, Why are you asking me about hawks? And she said, There's been um, complaints by your neighbours that they have uh, rats in the area. And I said, Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Oh wow, there's rats. I haven't particularly been looking out, so I haven't really seen any. And I've been at work too. So I'm not sure, but uh, I'll be on the lookout. And that's where we had left the conversation. There was no, com there was no explanation that there was complaints directly about the chickens and um, us being the cause of a potential rat infestation in the neighborhood. After which um, I let Miss McCall know that I'm working on getting the permit. Um, I can go through the timeline I have I am going to be writing up a um, description a more detailed description for time's sake I'm not going to go through too much detail but I had um, several conversations with the um, Miss McCall um, Mr. Day and I think Mr. Masello uh, I had one conversation with two um, we've been in constant communication. The first date that we were officially told that there has been complaints and it's to do with the chickens was on August 23rd. August 23rd and that was um, through an unannounced visit to our property and I was under the impression that this was to do with the chicken permit at the time. Bina was present at the property and she did speak to Mr. Day. Mr. Day, then she had called me because I was confused about what's going on and I had the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Day for the first time. And he had told me that, yes, there's, there's been complaints. I had asked him about these complaints. He said he's not allowed to say which who the neighbors were that were complaining. I said, I'd like a copy of those complaints, please. He said, I'm more than happy to provide them to you. I was shocked to hear that it's our property that was being blamed because as you know, that's very embarrassing and shameful thing to go through and to be accused of and I asked him why didn't the neighbors come up to us or let us know like we don't know anything about this and I highly doubt that it's our property and then he said no actually the first time I came I did actually see some burrows along the side I was even more horrified then I was like straight away what can I do what should I do to make this right? What can we do? And, and I believe Mr. Day will agree with me. He did recommend getting an exterminator, to which when I put the phone down to Mr. Day, we did schedule an extermination. Well, an extermination to come out to see what's going on with the property. Then um, uh, he, the exterminator was scheduled for August 31st. Um, that's the soonest he planned to come, so that's when he was planning on coming. I did receive an email um, from Miss McCall asking what's going on with the exterminator. I let Miss McCall know that we have scheduled an exterminator and we are, um, he's going to be coming out on the property at August 31st. 
and she said, can you provide me with the details? And in addition to that, I think at that point she let me know that the parent, I, I can't remember with the dates, I can go back through my emails and check. At that point she did let me know that uh, we're not going to be able to give you a chicken permit at this time. I wrote back to her, we love these chickens. Is there anything we can do? We're taking care, of, you know, we're, we're, if there's anything we can do, just let us know at this point. I did read through the regulations. I didn't see, I didn't see that the chickens, that we would have a problem with the permit, so I asked her to elaborate, specifically the zoning requirements. If you check the article out, it says chicken specifically in the first section, and then down below, um, and the zoning requirements, it doesn't state chickens, it states 40,000 square feet, but that also pertains to two horses and cattle and large animals. So I was like, oh, we're in the clear, we'll get this permit. But then Miss McCall did respond and she said it's the 40,000 square feet. However, she said that we'd be able to discuss this after we've resolved the rat problem. And I said, that's fair enough, I really appreciate you working with me on this. Um, there's emails to show our conversation. After which, um, uh, then, Miss, then the exterminator gave me a call on August 30th and he let me know. He let me know that the town's calling him. I said, well, that's odd. Why is the town calling you? And they're letting him know about some chicken problem that you're having. And it's the chickens that's causing these rats. And I was, I was kind of shocked. I was like, well, this doesn't seem professional. For, um, it seems as though the Board of Health has already made a decision on what's causing these rats and they're going as far as to contacting our private contractor to let them know that, oh, make sure you look into this because this is what's causing the rat problem. So whatever the case, I wanted it nice. I wanted it to be nice and clean. I didn't approach the Department of Health. I, I wish I did at that point. But I let them know that, oh, well, I'll be sure to provide you with the report when it comes. Uh, he did come at the time. Um, I wasn't present at the property August 31st. I have a statement from someone who is, was present at the time. And he went through the property. Everything seemed to be clear. We did keep stuff underneath our deck areas, such as storage, gardening tools, all that stuff. He told us to clear all that out since um, rodents tend to like to stay in the deep places. He checked all of our chicken area. He said, this is all rodent proof. It's good the way you're disposing of your um, bedding, which Bina will elaborate on further on, because I think it's very important that we get to say how we are disposing of this stuff that we're uh, being accused of doing near the brook. So, 